Good morning, everyone. We are continuing our insect theme, and I wanted to show you today how are insects built. So when you see a bug outside, you will know if it's an insect or not. The first thing that is very important is all insects have six legs, just like this butterfly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. No more, not less. All insects have a head, just like this ant here. They have a head. Under the head, they have a second body part, which is called a thorax. It's a tricky word. Thorax. Head, thorax. The last part here is called abdomen. It's called an abdomen. So we can even look here. Head, thorax, abdomen. And of course, six legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. And antennas. So we know that insects have three body parts and six legs. We can look now more in detail how the butterfly is built. Some insects, like this butterfly, have wings. But some insects, like this ant, don't. Not all insects have to have wings. But they have to have three body parts and six legs. This is our butterfly. We already talked about this part. Wings. Yes, the butterfly has beautiful wings. This part here on top, the brown part, is the head. Head. Oh, maybe we put like this so you can see everything. Wings and head. Now, do you remember this part in the middle? Thorax. Thorax. That's the middle part of the insect or the butterfly. This bottom part right here is called abdomen. 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 These two things coming out from the butterfly's head are called antennas. Antenna. Do you remember how many legs insects have? Six. And that's right. This butterfly also has six legs. Six legs. Now, this is a very funny word, but you should try to remember it. This thing, this funny looking tube coming out from the butterfly's head is called a proboscis. Proboscis. And the butterfly is using it like a straw to drink the nectar from the flower. It's very long. He can it can roll like this, but it can also be straight. Proboscis. And the last thing that we have here, this tiny part on the head, is called the compound eye. The compound eye. The most important thing for you remember from today's lesson is that all insects have six legs, three on one side, three on the other side, two antennas and three body parts. Some insects have wings, 
Yes, but some insects don't have any wings, but they are still insects. Please try to make a book with the parts of the butterfly. Try to write down the names. If you have problems with spelling the names, you can look for them on your computer or ask your mommy and daddy to help you to write them down. And I would like to see those books. Can you send me the photos, please, of the books you made about the parts of the butterfly? I will see you soon during the next lesson. Bye-bye.